Hi and welcome back to MRTV. Finally, after 12 years of waiting, we're getting a new Half-Life game. Half-Life Alex is going to come out in March 2020 and it's going to be a VR game, which means you do need a VR headset in order to play it. Yes, you cannot play it on your normal 2D screen. You do need a VR headset. Now that's great news for the VR community, but you probably don't yet belong to the VR community and you now need to get a headset in order to play it and you're wondering which of the many options is the right one for you. Well, you found the right video because in this video I'm going to give you four headset recommendations starting from low budget to higher budgets and I'm going to let you know what kind of advantages and disadvantages these headsets have so you can make an informed decision which headset to buy for Half-Life Alex. And all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again here to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is all about virtual reality. So if you just got your headset or if you have your headset for a long time already or if you want to get your headset for Half-Life Alex, this is the right channel for you because I'm giving you unbiased and honest reviews about the latest hardware, about the latest games and I'm giving you the latest news. So if that sounds interesting, why don't you subscribe to the channel now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. Before we get to these four headsets, I would like to say thank you to the three MRTV champions, the three MRTV sponsors who support this channel. Thank you so much to Modicap. Modicap makes the sound kit, this kind of modification for the Rift S, which will add Sennheiser headphones to the Rift S and the Quest. Then thank you to Human Eyes. Human Eyes makes this one, the Views XR, my favorite VR 180 and 360 camera. A fantastic camera which I can totally recommend to you. And thanks so much to VR Cover. VR Cover is making the hygiene solutions for all of the VR headsets. Thanks so much. All right, so you want to play Half-Life Alex, and you're wondering which VR headset to buy. First of all, welcome to the VR community. We're really happy to have you. So these are the four headsets that I recommend from low budget to higher budget. And these are the Samsung Odyssey Plus for $249, the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Rift S, both $399 and the Valve Index, $999 for the full package. All right, all right, let's start with the low... All right, let's start with the low budget option, the Samsung Odyssey Plus. This headset costs unbelievable $249 right now on Amazon.com. And even though it's so cheap, it doesn't mean that it's worse than the other headsets. Actually, it does have some advantages, for example, over the Rift S that I'm going to talk about in a moment. So, fantastic price. Now, what else is good here other than the price? Well, you have very nice picture quality. You have a resolution of 1600 times 1440 pixels per eye and that's the same resolution like the Quest and even the Valve Index. So very nice resolution and you have an OLED display just like the Oculus Quest. So this kind of display technology will give you very nice colors and very dark blacks. This is really good. Also a big advantage that this headset has for example, over the Rift S that I'm going to talk about very soon, this has a manual IPD adjustment. So if your interpapillary distance, the distance between your eyes, is very high or very low as compared to the average person, then you will need one of the headsets that has an IPD adjustment so you can adjust the lenses according to your own IPD and this headset has it all. Also, it comes with these AKG headphones directly built into the headset. So really, really good. A very, very nice headset that I, that I can absolutely recommend, especially for this amazing price. So what is not so great about this headset? Well, if you buy it, then directly the facial pad 
that comes with it is not so great and you should absolutely replace it with the VR cover one. The link is down in the description below. Once you get the VR cover facial interface for this headset, comfort is going to be way better. Then another disadvantage as compared to the other headsets, the controllers. The controllers are just okay. In direct comparison with the other headsets, these are the worst controllers, but it doesn't mean that they are like bad. They are still okay. There's, you can still use them. You will still enjoy to be in virtual reality, but just to tell you in comparison to the others, they are not so great. Also, while the tracking is concerned, this headset is good, good enough, but it's not as good as the other headsets. And the reason is that this is a Windows Mixed Reality headset with, with only two cameras to track the controllers. The other headsets have more cameras or use a completely different system to track the controllers and to track the headset. So, not as good as the others, but still good enough. If you choose the Samsung Odyssey Plus, you're going to have an amazing headset with amazing visuals and good enough tracking for only $249. If you don't live in the States, you can still get this headset. For example, if you're in Europe, you can import this headset using Amazon.com. They're going to send it to you and the link is down in the description below. So a fantastic headset to play Alex, to play Half-Life Alex if you are on a budget. Next in line, the two Oculus headsets, the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Rift S. Both priced at $399, but the headsets are really different. The Oculus Quest is actually a standalone headset, so this can also work without a computer and it doesn't have wires. So actually you would not be able to play Half-Life Alex because Half-Life Alex is a PC VR game, so you do need a gaming PC. But since an update, you can actually hook this up to a gaming PC using a USB 3 cable, and then this does become a PC VR headset, and that's why it's also in this line of recommended VR headsets. So a very interesting headset that you can also use without wires and without a computer. Now, the Rift S, it is a PC VR headset and, well, this one, it comes with a wire and you hook it up to your gaming PC just like the other headsets. So this one and also the other two, you cannot use without a computer if you go on vacation or if you go to a friend. So this is, first of all, the main difference. Now, what is the difference in terms of how the picture looks like and so on and so forth? So, well, different. This headset here, it has an OLED display and the same resolution like the Samsung Odyssey Plus and the Valve Index. So 1600 times 1440 pixels and it's an OLED display. So we have again, very nice blacks and very nice colors. However, the Rift S, it has an LCD display and it has an LCD display with an RGB stripe matrix. What does it mean? It means that each pixel is being shown with three subpixels. And for, for this headset, the Quest, you have an OLED pentile matrix display where each pixel is only represented by two subpixels, the same like the Samsung Odyssey Plus. Now, because of this difference, actually the picture looks better and more clear in the Rift S. So if you directly compare the, the picture quality, the Rift S wins and it does look better. The difference is not huge, but yes, I would say that the Rift S, the picture quality of the Rift S is better if you just look at the clarity and for the colors, the colors would look better in the Quest. Now, another big difference is the comfort. So the Oculus Quest by itself, well, it's not really comfortable and you would need to mod it to make it really comfortable. For example, this part, the back part of, of this Quest, it's already modded. This is the FrankenQuest mod, where you would add the HTC Vive Deluxe Audio Strap to the Quest. And you can find lots of videos also from me how to make this happen. If you don't have this, the Quest is 
kind of front heavy because well there is there's a battery inside it and there's also like the system on a chip the soc is in it because well you don't need a computer and everything is built into this so this makes it kind of front heavy and well you don't have this with the rift s you have a very very comfortable headset here with the rift s and if you want to wear this for hours I would definitely recommend the Rift S. This is lighter and it comes with this kind of halo strap. So in terms of comfort and in terms of picture quality, I would go for the Rift S. But if you want to have a headset that you can also use somewhere else, if you go to a friend or if you go to on vacation, then I would recommend the Quest. So this is really absolutely up to you. What kind of thing is more important for you, like mobility or more comfort and picture quality? Let's talk about controllers and tracking for these two headsets. So both headsets use the brilliant Oculus Touch controllers. These controllers are very comfortable. They are light and tracking is fantastic. So for both same great controllers that I can absolutely recommend to you. And well, just like the Samsung Odyssey Plus, this uses the inside out tracking kind of approach. So what does it mean? Well, we have cameras that are built into the headsets in order to track the environment and its own position and also the controllers. For the Quest, we have four cameras and for the Rift S, we have five cameras. Anyways, tracking is fantastic for both headsets so you won't have any problems when it comes to tracking and controllers. Now we're already getting to the last head. Now we're getting to the Valve Index and I believe that the Valve Index is actually the best headset to play Half-Life Alex if you're okay to spend $999 for the full package. The full package includes, well, the Valve Index itself, then two base stations that you will need for the tracking and the Valve Index controllers, the best controllers on the market right now. So why would I say this is the best option to play Half-Life Alex? Well, the Valve Index was developed by Valve, the same company that of course is responsible for Half-Life. And they developed Half-Life Alex already with this headset in mind. So this is exactly how Valve imagined you to play Half-Life Alex, and they for sure are going to incorporate some gameplay mechanisms that you can only play with the Valve Index or with the Knuckle controllers. And I'm going to talk about this in a moment. But first, let me tell you why this is an amazing headset. First of all, compared to all the others, you have the biggest FOV, the field of view. So this is like the angle of the view that you have in virtual reality. For these three headsets, you have the field of view of around 110 degrees diagonally. That is something like, like this, for example. But with the Valve Index, you have a higher FOV of around 135 degrees. So, so bigger, bigger than the other headsets and you do see the difference and you will feel more immersed in virtual reality with this higher FOV. Other than the better FOV, we also have a fantastic picture quality, a picture quality that is superior than the picture quality of the other headsets. The resolution here is 1600 times 1440, so just like the Samsung Odyssey Plus and the Quest. However, just like with the Rift S, we have an RGB stripe matrix. So we have three subpixels for every pixel. So you hardly see any screen door effect and the picture is just nice. Now, as compared to the, to the Rift S, which also has an LCD RGB stripe matrix, we have a high resolution here and we have better colors. We have better contrast and in direct comparison, simply better colors here with the Valve Index. Also, another important advantage of the Valve Index as compared to the Rift S, we have a manual IPD adjustment here and we don't have this with the Rift S. This is also very important if you're looking to get the Rift S, if you liked what I told you just now about the Rift S, this 
does not have a manual IPD adjustment. So if you have a very large IPD or a very small IPD, you should better go for the Samsung Odyssey plus the Quest or the Valve Index because you will need the manual IPD adjustment. So really, really nice picture quality here for the Valve Index. Also really fantastic, also really fantastic about the Valve Index, the audio solution. You have these headphones and these headphones, actually they float above your ears. They don't touch your ears. And this is incredibly comfortable and the sound is fantastic. So better than the headphones on the Samsung Odyssey Plus and also better than the audio solutions of the Quest and the Rift S. For the Quest and the Rift S, actually they do not come with headphones and th this is a this is a mod this is the sound kit from Modicap that you can buy in in the in, in the aftermarket and also this is this is the HTC Vive Deluxe Audio Strap another um, aftermarket solution so if you just buy them you will not have these headphones and you will have just like um, sound coming out from speakers directly next to your ear and this is okay but this is not as good as the audio solution of the Valve Index. So a fantastic audio solution here with the Valve Index. Another amazing thing about the Valve Index is the comfort. And if you compare the comfort, this is by far the most comfortable headset as compared to the other headsets here. You simply will use this knob to make everything work and you have a fantastic balance of this headset and you can wear this for hours. Don't get me wrong, I also like the comfort of the Rift S, but in direct comparison, the Index has the superior comfort even though the headset is heavier than the Rift S. So the Index is a really, really nice overall solution for virtual reality and I even haven't talked about the fantastic controllers. So let's do that now. So these are the Valve Index controllers. These are the best controllers on the market right now. Why is that so? Well, first of all, you use them like this and now they're sticking to your hands. So you don't have to worry about grabbing them the whole time, just like the other controllers. So you can throw a grenade, for example, and well, you won't throw your controllers away. Fantastic. Then you have finger tracking. So if you move your fingers in reality, your character in virtual reality is also going to do that, which of course helps for immersion. Then these have the best tracking in class, better than the rest because they use the Valve lighthouses for tracking those base stations, different than the other headsets and the other controllers, they are tracked by lasers and that makes for a really fantastic tracking. You do have to set up those two base stations first that come in the kit, but that is really not complicated and you will have the very best tracking in class. Then also, as what grabbing things is concerned, for the other controllers, you, you have this grab button, which is a binary button, so either you grab or not. For the Valve Index controllers, you, the pressure is being measured so you can like grab something like really hard or not so hard you can squeeze things and everything is being shown in virtual reality definitely the best controllers on the vr market right now so overall for the best half-life alex experience in virtual reality i would suggest you to get the valve index package however also with the other headsets you're going to have lots of fun playing Half-Life Alex and the, all the other amazing titles that are there in virtual reality. I believe that now you have a much better idea of which VR headset to get in order to play Half-Life Alex. If you need more information about these headsets, I have reviewed them all and I'm going to link my reviews down in the description below. Now I want to hear from you. Do you have any more questions about this headset or about VR in general? Then why don't you post your question in the comment section? I'm looking forward to read your comments and your questions and I'm looking forward to answer them. So simply leave your question or your comment in the comment section below. That's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and it was helpful for you. If yes, why don't you give it a thumbs up? And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, then do it now and click on the bell button so you don't miss 
anything, and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.